Liberty Fighters Network. 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 Liberators and fellow South Africans. The work of Liberty Fighters Network is being blocked. Not only by social media, but we've also confirmed, and as I've indicated in previous videos, that the entire media of South Africa has colluded and intentionally blocks our uh, news, our work that we do. Um, that is obviously a very positive thing because if the media has collaborated to block the news of and the work of, of Liberty Fighters Network, we're doing something right. Uh, so we're definitely seen as a threat to our enemies out there. So please, um, it's your responsibility as a fellow um, activist, as a fellow um, driver of our liberation, to please share our work as far and wide as possible. Please like our video, subscribe to our channels, and also try and see whether you would like to become a member of our YouTube channel. That way, you will assist us to get our message out there. So please, uh, first, before you continue, if you like our work, please like our videos, comment at the bottom, and also share this as, as wide, wide as possible. Um, I don't understand how certain groups who are not hands-on, uh, like, like uh, Liberty Fighters Network, um, they, they don't get their hands dirty inside the, the, the fight, like, like we are doing. They get thousands of views on the, um, uh, the social media platforms. And at the end of the day, it's subversive most of that information. And that is what, what I would like to, to, to discuss now, is that there's so much subversive work and controlled opposition. I've made a video about uh, agents, operatives and spies um, a few weeks ago. And it's key to understand how these people operate. Because they are literally inside those organizations. As I've indicated, Liberty Fighters Network's um, whole structure is of such a nature that we cannot be infiltrated by agents, operatives, and spies. Um, there have been numerous of attempts to do so, but we know, I know, uh, and I can smell an agent a mile away. Uh, I know them, I know how they operate, and that is why it's key to, um, as, as an activist, if you'd like to start your own organization to pursue our liberation and assist us with our work as well. Go and find out how agents and operatives and spies are functioning. It's very key. It's key. Um, for example, we receive um, information or on our sites um, daily. There's, there are people who uh, just post um, something that is in line with, with our thinking and with our pursuit and without checking the facts. Um, I'm, not, I'm not here saying that go to a fact checker. Gosh, people, you have gone through a period of three years or so with, with uh, the COVID-19 lockdown, and you've become uh, good researchers. That's a very good thing that came out of this entire COVID-19 pandemic uh, lockdown that we went through. Um, it created new researchers, you who's listening to this. And, uh, but unfortunately, just because something is in line with our thinking and, and our end goal, people just bluntly accept it as the truth and then they, they circulate it in the thousands uh, over um, social media and, uh, and, and, and other platforms, uh, accepting it as the truth. But that is, that is exactly how our enemies operate. They create something that is totally phony and they just because and, and they know that that we are very gullible at this point in time that we accept it as a truth and that we're going to distribute it so that when it comes out and at the right time when people start referring to that information that has been uh, fabricated by our enemies then they go out and and they've got to prove that it does not exist or it's, it's not like that 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 the narrative or uh, the information says and then they ridicule everyone in our group of activists. Um, so it's not, not only you that's ridiculed, it's all of us who are then said, oh, you know what, um, the, the awakened group uh, is a bunch of tinfoil hatters, uh, conspiracy theorists, because they 
intentionally provide us with fake information which is in line with our thoughts and we don't go and check it. We don't go out and see whether it's actually the truth. Um, for example, Donald Trump, there are still people believing that he is the savior of the world. But they have never done research about his background. If they had done proper research about his background, they would have realized that he's a Jesuit. Now, what is the order of Jesuits? They, it's an order um, of, of very influential people created by the Roman Catholic Church to, um, to assist the Roman Catholic Church to uh, eventually get rid of Protestantism so that all the Christians belong to one big faith, Catholicism. And that is the reason why someone like Martin Luther have, have come out and said, but we don't like the rituals of the Roman Catholic Church. And that is why we are Protestants. So, and that is where some 500 years ago, uh, a bit more than 500 years ago, the, the Reformation period started uh, in, in Christianity. Um, so if you know that Donald Trump is a Jesuit, then you will realize that don't accept what he, when, whenever he takes out his Bible, um, question what he is saying. Um, is he really acting like a Christian? That, that is the key thing. No, he's not acting like a Christian. Um, for example, uh, you would find that, that he has even, there, there, there's, there's um, uh, um, probable uh, uh, good um, proof out there that he has actually also accepted the, the faith of, of Judaism. Um, you, will, you will find where he um, visited Jerusalem um, and, and he made use of the rituals of the Jewish people. And I'm not saying that the Jewish people are wrong. I'm just telling everyone that he's not who he is. Um, one stage he's wearing that of being a Jew. The other um, a minute he's a Protestant and the other minute he's a, he's a Catholic. He's all over the show. And with these types of politicians, I always say, um, it's not what they are doing and what they are saying in public. It's what they are not doing that makes me suspicious about them. Um, they, for example, with Donald Trump, while he was the president of, of the, um, the, the, the uh, United States of America, he was the president in the middle of the COVID-19 alleged pandemic. Um, so if our thoughts are that there were a lot of irregularities with COVID-19, um, then he was in the position to have exposed it. But he came out with uh, how good Ivermectin, for example, is. Um, so, so he confirmed, by, by coming out, he confirmed that there is a virus. He confirmed that there is a pandemic. All the stuff that we as a group most probably say is very suspicious and could be that there were no such events. And it's, I reiterate, that it's for you to go and do the research. Don't just accept what I'm saying. Although everything that Liberty Fighters Network um, is doing, we do put the proof, the actual proof, on our website. Go and have a look. Go and Google our name. Go and see, uh, read the court cases that have been published about us so that you can see and experience the work that we're doing. Um, for example, there's an, another person I've mentioned him before um, who's very much... Uh, active and he gets so much support all over the show uh, about his corruption work and, and his investigation work that he's doing. Firstly, he's not even registered as a forensic uh, investigator. Um, your research should have showed you that and proved to you that. Um, and, and then he, this person is sticking to the same story all the time. There is no court case that this person is involved in. Um, there's constantly recordings, voice recordings, and oh, he has achieved this, and, and, and people are circulating it. I receive um, uh, his letters and, and uh, voice recordings regularly, um, and then I see that it has been forwarded many times on WhatsApp. So people are actually forwarding these stuff. And now on the one side, people say, yeah, but we are forwarding it because we want to check whether what this person is saying is going to come out to be the truth. Um, but you are actually fueling um, this information. You are fueling uh, by forwarding it without checking. Uh, at least you should then put a note to that and say that unconfirmed, please check. Then people will know that it's not, not to be accepted as the truth. They must first go and check. But people don't do that. 
It's simply forwarded uh, thousands of times to various people and they believe that someone is actually doing something about the banking corruption or this, this organization is doing. So they just simply relax and, and think that, okay, uh, they are doing it. So um, let's, let's hope and see what the outcome is. But if you receive the same letter, the same communication for the past three odd years, and it's constantly the same. There's no change. There's no court case that can be referred to that we are busy pursuing this in this court case. Um, and, and now recently this guy went out and said, but we need uh, 15,000 rand or something uh, for a transcript of this work for this certain person that we are assisting. But that's not even how the court system operates. That you don't have to have all those transcripts when you continue appeal processes. But people are gullible, they don't go and check, they don't go and inquire whether this is really happening, and they just blindly go and donate out of the, the, the love for the cause. People go and donate and, and hope that their money will help this lady to get a transcript of this entire, all her court cases. And that's not how it works. That's not how an appeal works. It was never ever a trial. It was always um, an application process in that specific uh, matter. So you only need the documents that have been lodged, the arguments, and also the judgment. That is all what the, um, the, 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 the appeals courts, either a full court or Supreme Court of Appeal, or if you do get to the Constitutional Court and your matter is, is seized by them, then they will tell you that they only need the relevant parts of the entire case. So unfortunately, there's a lot of disinformation out there. Um, and people, because we want to believe, just like uh, when, when Jacob Zuma, when he was president, um, when he appointed Van Rooyen as the new minister of finance and, and, um, and sacked uh, Gordon, uh, everyone was up in arms about this and the entire uh, uh, economy collapsed. Um, um, but the people forgot that uh, Gordon was just a few months earlier, he was the target uh, or the subject of high-level corruption within the, um, the, the, the South African Revenue Services. And the people, just because it's something was something against Jacob Zuma and the media made us all to, to hate him, and just because it was in line with our thoughts, we never checked, we never cared about anything else. We just bluntly accepted that uh, at the end of the day, um, um, the media is telling the truth because it's in line with our hate for Jacob Zuma. Um, unfortunately, that is happening regularly. And um, what I tell people is, make sure that when you forward information, number one, go and investigate yourself. Go and Google it, go and duck, duck go it, whatever fo uh, search engine you use, go and consult it. Go and check whether there is a reasonable apprehension that that could be the truth. Um, go and check who forwarded it to you. Is there a name? If there's no name attached to it, don't circulate it. Run away. Throw it, throw rocks on it and just phone the police. Um, don't go and waste your time in forwarding it. Uh, if there's no name, if there's no date, if there's no website attached to it, if there's no venue, um, and, and you cannot go and, and, and check whether this person actually exists. If a person does not want to give his name, in forwarding this, ignore. There's a reason why this person does not want to give his name. If he or she is a real activist, he will not care or she will not care to attach his or her name to that information because um, his name or her name is the stamp of approval on that news. Go and check it. Very important, please. Don't circulate something that you cannot Confirm yourself. And if you are not sure and you have thought about it for a long time and you think that that information must be shared with others, put in there um, accusations not, uh, not, not, not confirmed. So that others, please check. Well, not confirmed, please check. So that others who are reading this must know that, that it's, it's not the truth, um, but they first have to go and check it. And if they go through the same procedure as you and they know that it must be forwarded, then it's fine. People, 
Be careful of disinformation. Be careful of agents and operatives and spies deliberately and intentionally putting information in front of you which um, is not going to help us at all. Um, it's so essential that we have to check these things um, in our pursuit to our true liberation. Please check this, confirm, and I'll obviously make other videos about similar subjects. Um, please like this, um, forward this to others for to share if you like it, and also comment at the bottom. That will also help us with the algorithm on YouTube. Stay safe. God bless. Liberty Fighters Network. Liberty Fighters Network. Liberty Fighters Network.